anytime a breakthrough arrives, you will encounter a backlash. Because you've broken through some obstacles, you've broken through some conventions, you've broken through unexamined expectations of the crowd. You have broken through resistance. So it will be a backlash. The backlash isn't to undo your breakthrough, because that's not possible. The backlash is to act out against your breakthrough in the hope to contaminate your breakthrough with hardship. Anytime your breakthrough arrives, well, that backlash will happen. And during that backlash, you will have a lot of folks vanishing from you. Or better said, often before the backlash comes, they will disappear. It's when the backlash is going on that you will notice that they're gone. Why is that? Those folks saw the backlash coming long before you did. They just didn't want to tell you anything. Because if they would have told you about the backlash, it would have made them look bad. But they saw the backlash, they saw it coming. So they didn't want to, want to be around you, so they wouldn't become a slight target of the rage that was about to manifest against you. And here's the thing, where you were heading, they didn't, want, they didn't want to be there to begin with, because they are in relief seeking. They want to be left alone. They don't want to look at the bigger picture. They don't, they don't want to break through. They don't want to overcome anything. But you do. And because you do, you get backlash. So when you are overcoming, when your breakthrough has arrived and you keep and you're operating in true prosperity, such folks that don't want to face anything in life, they just want to be left alone in the relief seeking, they don't want to be part of your prosperity. Because in this world, when you have prosperity, you'll either either get predators that want to feed off of your prosperity, like parasites, or you'll get um, frenemies, they call it in the world, people that will come close to you, but only to benefit from you, to withdraw wealth or power from you, to cover up their evil doing, or you may have people that will lose their minds because you're now operating in prosperity and they're not they don't want to face themselves they're not open to be prosperous but they just upset you at prosperity so now they want to act out they want to riot against you you get all of that when you're operating in prosperity in this world the reason why some folks are completely not affected by it is because they have sold their souls to satan and part of selling your soul is that you get things very easily. You get things very easy. But it's a big price to pay. Because nothing in Satan's reality is for free. Nothing. Pagans who use the paranormal in practical ways still are still dealing with backlash against them operating in a prosperous manner. So believers. Uh, well, at heart from time to time, also may operate in real prosperity. If the pagans who operate in the counterfeit have it hard, then you will have it harder than them because you operate in the real. But because you have Christ's power, you overcome. There's a difference. So, when you operate in real prosperity, folks will leave you, they will depart from you. They, will have, they don't want anything to do with you because they don't want to face themselves. They don't want to examine themselves. That's what's scary for them. And when backlash comes, they don't want to be around. Because if they're around you and this backlash against you and the backlash affects them as bystanders, they are going to blame you instead of the one instead of the ones that are coming after you. That's how cow cowardly they are. So be glad the Most High allowed tribulation to come near you. The Most High allowed tribulation to come near you to scare off those cowards. Because you don't want cowards around you. Absolutely not. 
So, I guess I want to share in this video. The tribulation was allowed. The Lord did not uh, permit it. He did not agree with it. He did not sponsor it. He tolerated it by letting it. Ha he let it happen to scare off the cowards from you, because those cowards would bring violence onto you, and they would bring violence, danger, sickness, all those bad stuff onto you if they would remain with you. So, what do you know? Praise the Lord at all times, knowing that you're not an orphan. You are in agreement with Christ, and He shall never leave you nor forsake you. Always remember that. Be at peace.